Hi, good morning. This is Alberto Vidal and we are working for another question on our GMAT preparation for Calvers Consulting Corporation. So, now we see a um, hard question in algebra for the GMAT. The first statement, the first, now we see a hard question on the GMAT. What we see here is an algebra question. That question involves an absolute value, and because an absolute value is kind of difficult, we will see step by step what we have to do. First, we have to develop the absolute value. Absolute value of x has two options, two splits. When x is greater than or equal to zero, it is x. When x is less than zero, it is negative x. So, this is the first thing that we have to do to split this. The question says m is equal to absolute value of x, which is x when x is positive, plus x. This is when x is positive or zero. So m will be 2x when x is positive or zero. Because m is an integer, the possibilities for m on the first branch is m is or zero or one or two or three or four or thereafter. The second option involves when the absolute value of x is x is equal to negative x plus x. This is when x is negative. In that particular case, m is zero only. Well, if you join both the statements, when you have something in particular that it is those possibilities are for m or 0, 2, 3, 4 or thereafter. My question is, is m 0? Well, m is 0 when x is negative. m is 0 when x is 0. Well, first statement. What the first statement says? The first statement says x is negative. If x is negative, for sure, m will be 0. And, I, and this statement is sufficient to solve. And the second statement says m is less than 1. And the only possibility for m less than 1 is m0. I could get it. And then my answer is d. This is another question for Calvers Consulting Corp. Thank you.